Okay. Um, one more thing that RBX talked about was that he had stated that Suge had forged his name and kind of stole his publishing for the stuff that he was on, which was Doggy Style and The Chronic. This seems to be kind of like a running theme that I hear a lot about, like um, Rest in Peace to Jewel, she said the same thing. But a lot of artists have said like, oh, you know, my na name was forged and my publishing was stolen. Can you speak a little bit to me about that? Yeah, that's just what they like to say now. I heard an interview with Daz trying to make that claim about me now. Uh, well, he said that I forged his name on some contracts when he know he sold me all this publishing and back on the back back pay for all of his rights for seventy five thousand dollars. But they all cast the checks, but they forget why they got those checks and there's paperwork to all of that. But then once they get shown the paperwork, then it's all of a sudden forged. But RBX, I think I thought he said that it was for for the song to be on the album and that it. And that he eventually did it, I'm not sure. But that's just their way of, that's the only way you can get out of something and say, oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do that. <laughs> scooby doo doo do the scooby doo doo on you. That's, that's what all of them like to do. Um, but they, I, I, only thing you can just say is they're lie. Why haven't y'all came out and do it? Why did you not fight that when you left and did that record uh, with the other company and she still got an override from you? for having been signed to him when he allowed you to leave Death Row and go and work and do an album somewhere else. Why didn't you make the accusations then? Uh, Jewel, we all know and heard all of the things that Jewel, rest in peace, said, you know, as far as um, monies that she felt that she was owed or did and all of that. But, you know, to be honest, uh, the state has reached out to me to get in contact with Jewel's family and so she's about to, they about to make some money and get some money and get some rights done on things that um that um they owe some back pay on. So they should be doing okay in a minute on that. So hopefully they get that worked out. Um but yeah, you know, people is the people is trying to get the paperwork cleared and everything is getting cleared up. Um uh, my stuff with Big Simon is in the works. And so a lot of that's going to be getting taken care of real shortly. And um, so, yeah, people are trying to get paid now. A lot of the death row artists is going to be happy because things are getting cleared up or cleaned up. Definitely with the estate. They're doing a good job over there trying to get everything reorganized. And, um, and I guess that's what, you know, Snoop and Elm is doing or M NRK or whatever the name of that company, the people that's really running Death Row is trying to uh, get sorted out. And so everybody can get their correct payment when everything is redistributed and re-put out there. So just be patient, y'all. It's going to be a, a few rough four or five months, but I really see and getting a lot of phone calls where people are asking, where is this person? Who is this person? And all of that where things are starting to get cleared up. So those that feel that they owe money or should make money will really be getting checks real soon. Uh, got a call from JFX recently where uh, he shot me a little something just for, because I put him in the right direction where he can get some money and stuff like that. And so uh, people are starting to get checks and royalty statements and all of that are starting to kick in uh, where people can, can get paid. So it's unfortunate that people like to put that bad rap on it, on them. I wish everybody would go and do a a statement so all this money could revert back to Suge Knight because I'm trust me, trust me, trust me. All of these motherfuckers have been overpaid. All of them. Can't think of one that wasn't overpaid for what, what they did other than probably now uh, Tupac and maybe even Dre. Because Dre just walked away and just said, hey, <laughs> y'all can have this shit. But um, I even think he owns his album out right now, The Chronic. So I'm sure he's a happy man. So it's unfortunate that people want to play that game. But think about how many times you got a ticket and then you try to go to court and say, that wasn't me. I didn't sign that ticket. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs>
That's, that's, that's all going on. That's all going on. Yep.